This is the sixth in a series of videos where I'll be working through the creation of this scene from design, modeling, UV mapping, texturing, and animation. If this content interests you, but you have no patience, check out my Udemy course for in-depth ArcViz courses. Use the link in the description below for a great discount. Hit the subscribe button under this video and use the bell icon for notifications. Also hit that thumbs up so this video reaches more people. In this video, we add the railing to the building and add both the front and garage doors. We can begin and select the house model and tab into edit mode. We first need an insertion point for the railing around the balcony. So select the back edge on the low wall. Press shift plus S and put the cursor to select it. We can tab back to object mode now and from the create tab, use the fence option. Choose one from here. For this, I'm going to use this metal glass fence and add that to the scene. This object will scale from its origin point here at the position of the 3D cursor. Open the Archipack tab. If we expand the parts tab, use the length field and decrease so it extends to about halfway on the front wall. Press Shift plus D and right click. We can first rotate this, so press R, Z, input minus 90 and enter. Then press G, X and snap to the front of the railing. Then G, Y and align the railing here. Make sure this aligns correctly and that the handrail will look like a continuous railing. Once that's snapped, the length can be increased to fit across the wall and aim for about center on the far side. Let's select the first railing again. Press Shift plus D, Shift Z and drag over to about its position. Press G X and snap along the X axis. Press G Y and align this here. Then adjust the length if necessary. Select the first railing again. Then make a duplicate and drag across along the Y axis and align to the opposite side. Press R, Z, input 180 and enter. Then G, X and snap to align with the opposite side. This makes sure they are aligned out front. Then increase the length and extend to the wall. For the front railing, select the second. Press Shift plus D, Shift Z and drag this across. Press GX and GY and snap into position. Then use the length field to fill the wall. Zoom in close and make sure this aligns. Next, we can add the front door, so select the house model and tab in here. Select the bottom edge and put the cursor to select it. Tab back now and from the add-on, we can add a door 80 by 200. This first needs to be rotated on the Z-axis by 90. Press Z and switch to wireframe shading. In the width field, we can increase this to 1500. The height can be set to 2100. The door model can be increased to 3. This one includes a glass panel. The direction the door opens can be set to 1. We can select the house model now and tab into edit mode. Add an edge loop and snap out to align with the edge of the door frame. Repeat that for the opposite side and snap this here. Then add an edge loop across the top and snap to the frame here. Switch to face select now and select the front face. Press X and delete this. Switch back to solid shading. Select the garage face here. Press X and delete face. Select the front edge and put the cursor to select it. We can tab back to object mode and from the create tab, add a door. This one will be the garage door. This also needs to be rotated on the Z axis by 90 degrees. We can also move this back along the X so it doesn't sit too proud of the wall. Repeat that for the front door also, and move back in a little. Select the model again and tab into edit mode. Add an edge loop above the garage door and snap to the frame. 
Switch to face select and select the top two faces. Press X and delete these faces. 